Well, it's uh, first day of spring, 20th of March. Uh, it just coincides with uh, six to eight weeks before I'm going to plant them in the ground. The vegetables and peppers and coleus and things that take a while to grow. Hostas take a while for the seeds to pop up. And uh, I plant those so I'll, they'll have eight weeks of growth under them. Some of the other things I'll plant at six weeks. But today it's peppers and uh, tomatoes, coleus, hostas, and a few other flowers. Uh, well, it's the first day of springtime and an old adage, when your daffodils bloom, it's time to plant your garden seeds and flower seeds, especially one that take a while to germinate and grow up to be a big enough to be transplanted into your garden. Well, I got all my early seeds planted uh, till March the 20th. I use this natural and organic seed starting mix. It is sterile. It will grow your seeds and won't kill them. If you use soil uh, to grow your seeds in, you'll, they'll generally, a lot of them will die from dampening off from diseases in the soil and it will attack the plant right at the soil level. It'll bend right over and lay down like 90 degrees and that little spot will turn black. And it's called dampening off. I've got three kinds of peppers. I've got yellow and red orange marigolds. I've got some Patriot hosta seeds. And the odd thing is I've never had a Patriot had a seed pot on it. I don't think anyone, any of them are going to come up. Because very few come up from, from seeds. But they are black. And we've got some columbine and some parsley and some California wonder peppers. And I've got three kinds of aricolias that were on my videos last year that I grew. And all I have to do now is take the sifter and sift a little sphagnum moss over it. And fill these trays with water. And one thing I will do is I will wet these down with a spray bottle. And I need to rinse mine out and put fresh water in it. And I'll spray all these down with water so they've got water next to them. Then I will sift sphagnum moss on it. Everything takes about a quarter of an inch. Except these tiny little seeds will take about an eighth. And uh, then I will spray them down again. And I will put warm water in this tray. About 70 degrees. And I'll put a lid on them. And then we'll see what comes up. Now the peppers will take a while and the hostas will take a while if they come up. Well, last uh, March this time, you can look it up on my uh, channel and I uh, showed you how to plant all the seeds. I didn't go through all that again, but I want to show you how you can cover your seeds with sphagnum moss. Now these are pieces of sphagnum moss that's kept in a bag and after a while they do clump up a little bit. I really prefer it to be a little lumpy because it's easier to sift it. This is just some uh, wire screen on a wooden frame. I've got a little handle on this one. I've made several of these. And these are coleus, and coleus just need a light dusting of fine material, soils, sphagnum moss, whatever, to cover the seed. They're so tiny that if you put a quarter of an inch of covering or more on them, by the time the little new growth comes out of the seed, it can't reach the sunlight. So that's why some things are so tiny they require open sun to, pollen, to uh, germinate and then some need to be covered. Now these need to be covered, the seed is small as pepper and the best way I found to do it is with a, a strainer like this because see you can uh, watch what's going on the seeds as you sift it through the sifter and you can get exactly the coverage you want. No more, no less. I just want to cover the seeds. And I found that this is a way to do it. And I do it with all my seeds. And the neat thing about sphagnum moss is it's dry. It's brown, light brown. So when I spray this in a minute with my spray bottle to get it wet, it will be dark. So I can come out here and look at these pots. And if I see light brown, it means they are dry and I need to water them. So that's all you have to do. Just sift it over the plants. And uh, then after you sift them, spray it with water. Very gentle spray so you don't blow this around because this is really light. See how it'll move? 
So you just want to do it not squeezing the trigger too hard so that it just lightly waters them. And once they get watered, you can increase the volume because it's wet and it won't move. And these water bottles, all you got to do is cut the stem about an inch below the cap and you can turn them upside down. And I find they're a lot easier to water that way. Especially in the greenhouse. I was doing all these seeds yesterday and running out of daylight and sunlight to film after I put the uh, sphagnum moss sifted on it. Now, the, there's a couple things in here that are flowers that are tiny that just has a light coating. And then these others need about a quarter of an inch. And they've all been done now. But see, they're real light. And what this does is it holds moisture to the seed. The biggest danger you have is once that seed germinates and that tiny little sprout comes out of it, if it dries out while that's going on, it's over. It's pretty much done for the year. You'd have to reseed. And the best thing you can do is uh, keep them wet. So you wouldn't want to plant seeds and go away for three or four days. And you wouldn't want to plant seeds and have them out here in direct sunlight. You can see I've got some filtered light coming through this uh, greenhouse up in this corner up against this wall of the house and uh, it gets a little light but not too much light and once these all get nice and wet I had these on last night you put the covers on them and it holds the moisture if I get to sit down on it And now I'm going to put sphagnum moss all over these hosta seeds in this tray. Now I've covered all my hosta seeds with uh, sphagnum moss and I've sprayed them in. And I'll put a cover on that. That'll hold the moisture to it. Although if it's in a lot of direct sunlight, see how that's getting a little bit of sunlight? I have an insulation blue board that I put in, uh, in here to block the sun up in this corner. They don't need sun to germinate, but as soon as they germinate, they need all the light you can give them. And I just use a light like this, as close to the seeds as I can get them without touching them. Now there's a few little seeds right there that need to be covered. I'll sprinkle a little more on that. And that's pretty much it, folks.